Hey, well, do your kids enjoy robotics, chemistry, biology, or maybe they're interested? Well, they have a chance to join the club at the Fleet Science Center. And here to talk about what they can expect if they join is Peter Sturdivant. And he has some demos here. But this is for fall, the session starting in fall. That's correct. In September. But you're saying this is the time to sign up. This is the time. Registration opens this Friday, July 1st. Uh, we expect them to go quickly. So $13 to $15 per session, uh, and you will want to jump on it. Very popular. And what are the age groups that you guys are inviting? Yeah, so we do, uh, like most age groups, we offer a junior science club for first through fourth graders. Mm -hmm. There's a science club for fifth through eighth graders. And we also have a young scientist club, which is for, for uh, very young children, like pre-K, nursery, first grade. Um, so really all ages. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we have some demos here for you. Which one do you want to start with first? We'll start with the, uh, so we have um, some materials here to make an anemometer. Uh, as you can see, you're pretty high tech stuff. We uh, cut up a cereal box for these ones. <laughs> I think um, I might recognize yeah, that yeah, one from Trader it, Joe's. It was great. I had a few bowls <laughs> myself. Um, no, it's uh, something you can do at home very easily. We have two strips of thin cardboard okay. about the same size. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll make them into an X like this. Do you need help? Do you need an extra yes, set of hands? Yes, if you could, okay. um, if right. you could rip off a small piece right, of masking tape. All right, you got tape. it. Masking tape, we, we go through a lot of masking <laughs> tape. It's uh, nice and quick though. Yes. Holds better than glue for certain things. Oh no, my, I should have gotten that started my taping for you, my skills. Dad. I can, here, I'm a pro if you want me to uh, <laughs> step in. I got it off I All can't right. even help with the tape. <laughs> awesome. No worries. You could hold those okay. still for me. There we and go. And so we'll, we're going to make an X with these. Um, so we'll just need a little and bit of tape. And an anemometer does what? Measures wind speed. You know something about that. <laughs> I had a feeling we came to the right person. Um, let's flip it over. We'll okay. put another piece of tape All on right. the other side. Really make it stable there. Yeah, exactly. No wobbling here. Yeah, exactly. So there's our base. So this is how we're going to start. Okay. We've got our X here. Um, and we're going to be measuring wind speed, as right. you said, with this anemometer. So what's next? Next, we're going to take this straw. Okay. And we have, actually, I should have asked, would you like orange or blue uh, for your thumb Orange, tap? absolutely. Orange, we'll go for orange, perfect. Favorite color. Awesome. Your eraser, <laughs> green or purple? We'll do green. Green, excellent. All right, so you take a straw here. <laughs> okay. Nice thing about these paper straws is they're environmentally friendly, and it's a little easier to get one of these erasers onto it. And a lot of these items you probably can even find around the house too, right? If, Definitely. If you want to do this. In the meantime, before September, you got erasers, you got a cork there, thumbtack. Exactly. Tack. We're going to be using these little cups, but you could also okay. cut up an egg carton and oh, use that same. Cool. So there anything with a, uh, a cavity there that you can catch the wind with. Okay. What's N next? Next step, we've got our thumbtack and we're okay. going to push this through the middle. Um, you will obviously want to step in and help your kiddos with this one. Yes, uh, sharp objects, <laughs> parental parental supervision. It recommended, advised. highly recommended. <laughs> um, and I'm going to sort of wiggle this a bit to okay. get that hole because we do want this to be able to spin. spin. Oh, there we go. look at that. Awesome. Uh, okay. So we've got our eraser there on the straw. Okay. Um, and we're going to stick the pin into the top of that eraser. The very top, all right. And Megan, if you could grab four cups okay. and then mark one on the side with a green X. I've got a marker here just for that. On the side, like uh, here? Yeah, just sort of like a, oh, on the side go. of the, right on that blue design. All right, a one. That works, as long as it's a large green mark, you can use an X, you can use a one, oh, you can right. use a different colored cup. Um, What's next? And then three more oh, uh, unmarked. Oh, my bad. Unmarked, my bad. okay, there you go, there's three more. Excellent. Okay, then we're going to tape these cups to the arms of the anemometer. The important part is we have our green mark here that Megan put. We're going to make sure that that is on the outside so that we can read this thing. Okay. All right, so we're going to put All some right. tape here, there. There's one down. We got three Excellent. more. Three more. Perfect. Now we're getting the tape rolling. Yeah, okay. there we go. So obviously the cups are going to catch the wind when you spin it. Exactly. The green What's the mark, wind speed in our studio? We're about to find out. <laughs> it's feeling up. I don't know. I don't remember the National Weather Service <laughs> yeah. uh, putting a station here, but here we go. <laughs> um, the green uh, mark will help us uh, take a measurement, but okay. um, like a lot of our activities, um, uh, there's room to let your children kind of um, choose how they want to do this. Um, You'll want to set some sort of time interval, like you could wait a minute, okay. or uh, it could be 30 seconds. Um, and it, as always, uh, you know, we want to practice those good behaviors like marking down our results, 
making sure we're keeping track of, mm. of what we're finding. Finding um, the variables. Exactly. Right. All of those little things uh, uh, really build that learning experience as the yeah. kid is uh, doing this and activity. And they can track their progress too. Exactly. All right. This so, is the final product, the finished product. This is the same Let's... kind they use here at Fox 5 actually. I've heard. <laughs> um, really... I just stand outside <laughs> with this thing. <laughs> um, and then very simply, you know, we've got our green cup here. Um, you would hold it up okay. um, somewhere with some wind usually works best. Okay. Well, <laughs> and uh, if you you know you're counting to 30 seconds or a minute, okay. and you'll count how many times it spins. It's going to spin, and you'll count how many times that green mark passes your arm. Okay. So you know if we get our breeze going here, one, two. <laughs> our make believe breeze. <laughs> We're going to bring a fan next time. Yes. For that. Okay. Um, Very cool. <laughs> and these are just some of the many activities that you guys do with the kiddos at those uh, sessions there. And we have information on our screen right now, um, just with some of the information as well. Um, this takes place in September in the fall, but they say the time is to sign up now. So if you want to get your kiddos involved, uh, get their you know minds going, they're learning constantly. This is the place to be, the Fleet Science Club at Balboa Park. All right, thank you, Peter, for your demonstration here. Thank you so much. We'll be right back after the break.